Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Hunt Noobs. I'm coming back at you with some more gameplay footage. Real quick, guys, I go 34 and 3, playing some domination on the map. Yeah, man. Uh, playing with a couple good buddies of mine. I'm sure you guys know who these people are. Oh, yeah, Cookie, Savage, and Omega HD. Uh, we hopped on this morning, was pub stomping a little bit, and we were smacking the shit out of these kids. They were bending over, taking it with no lube. And uh, I tell you what, man, when you run with a party, people knows what the fuck they're doing. It always makes it easier for yourself when you're not that good of a game player, which is myself. Uh, I, I would definitely consider myself a below average gamer. On this, only on this game though, like on Modern Warfare 3 and on Black Ops, I, I, I consider myself a good gamer. Even though I joked around like, oh, I'm not that good. I definitely know I can go into any lobby and hold my own down. But for this game here, man, I just, you know, I just can't quite figure it out. I know a lot of people say, well, it's built for good players. Well, I guess, you know, there's the answer. So, anyways, this has nothing to do with anything at all, this gameplay at all. I think I get a couple warthogs. So, hopefully you guys sit back and enjoy. And I got a couple things I want to talk to you guys about. I have some questions for you, and hopefully you guys participate in it because audience participation is highly suggested, man. Your thoughts, concerns, and comments will definitely be much appreciated in the comment section below. I got a couple questions I want to ask you guys, man. Do you feel like the Wii U is a success? And if you do not feel like the Wii U is, is a success, will you move on to the next-gen consoles and just absolutely X out the Wii U and just sell it, whatever? But before I jump into any of that, guys, I want to talk to you guys about... Um, about a uh, an article that I read this morning, and it's pretty much talking about the com the, the topic at hand. Nintendo Wii off to a strong start. Now, uh, in this article here, and the link will be in the description, guys. If you want to go check it out because it has some other intriguing stories about PlayStation 3 and Xbox. I might not be able to get into that depending on the length of this video, but we'll see. Uh, it's pretty much comparing the two: the Nintendo Wii U compared to the Nintendo Wii after 40 days. So after 40 days, the Nintendo Wii U has sold three, or uh, I mean, made 300 million dollars, which is wow. That's a lot of fucking loot, dude. Now, when the Wii was dropped after 40 days, it made 270 million dollars. So as you notice there, there's a little bit of an increase there, right around was it 30 million dollars? Uh, so you would definitely consider that a success. But before you, you know, count all your chickens in a basket or whatever the fuck they say that is, I'm trying to use the country terminology. Uh, you got to consider this. When the Wii was dropped, it was $250. And we all know when the Wii U was dropped, it was $300 for the white one and $350 for the black one. Now, the good news for Nintendo is the black one is outselling the white one. So that's definitely a, you know, a good look for them. Um, so obviously, you're going to generate more revenue when the, the, the product of the second one costs more than the first one. I got some also another intriguing fact for you. In the month of December alone, the Wii U sold 460 million units. That's a lot of fucking units, boys and girls. Now, the Wii sold 475 million units. So it sold more units than the Wii U. So I find that real intriguing. Now, I know a lot of that has to do with the fact that the Wii U is $300 compared to you could probably buy a Wii right now for uh, $150 or maybe even cheaper than that at uh, GameStop. So obviously that is a factor when it comes to this. So now they, they, they pretty much played off like, hey, what if the Wii was $250 like the Wii? Or the Wii U was $250 like the Wii, excuse me. How much money would have been generated compare in the comparison? How much would there would there be in a, in a change? Would it be a significant difference? So if the Wii U was sold for two hundred fifty dollars, they're saying they would only generate two hundred twenty million dollars. Now that is fifty million dollars than what the Wii did, and it's forty days, and obviously it's eighty millions, eighty million less than what the Wii U is doing now as we speak. So that if you break it down, you know, to that stature, it's it's not doing as well as people think it's doing. So it's a little bit of smoke and mirrors, I guess, in a sense. I guess we won't really know until after a while. You know, you can't break everything down after 40 days. Obviously, it's doing well. It's, it's moving units. I definitely see more people getting on Call of Duty, and I know that's all I'm really comparing it to because it's a multiplayer game. You're able to see how many people get on. And right now, we're close to 4,000 people being online, and it's slowly and grinding, slowly and grinding, moving up, moving up. So that's, that's all, you know, good and dandy. So I definitely consider that it's going to be a success. I think it's going to do well. My biggest concerns are with the Wii U. It's what the le next question I have for you guys is, will I stay with it if we do not get the love that we deserve? And with that being said, man, no. Uh, if the Wii U does not get updates, and I tell you what, we're already behind because the PlayStation 3, Xbox, and the uh, PC has already got an update where now your UAV is up to uh, 450 points, I believe it is. Also, um, the, the Remington was dumped down, which I hope they don't do because that doesn't need to happen. And the lightning strike has a little bit of a delay to it. 
good. I feel like that's happening right now. Be honest with you, I feel like the lightning strike has been dumbed down, but I don't see any change in the UAV. It's still 350 to get a UAV for your score streak. So there's already showing signs of they're not going to do what they're supposed to do. Um, now with this, uh, the DLC, you know, coming around the corner, you know, the Xbox is about to get theirs here in a week or so or two weeks. So we have a month after that. So that's really going to be the deciding factor for me because if we do not get DLC, I will move on to another console because I won't put up with the same shit that we had to put up with for the Nintendo Wii. Um, and there's a lot of shit that, you know, Black Ops, Call of Duty that, you know, that, that pretty much shared on all platforms, you know, with the lag shooting and shit like that. Uh, and that's really not going to have any dictatorship on whether I move to uh, the, the Xbox 360 or the Xbox 720 when it drops or the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 4 when it drops. Uh, of course, it's going to be a really cool next-gen console, but, you know, that's really gonna, not going to have any deciding factors on uh, whether I'm going to – or my decisions at all. Now – you know, with the Wii U, we're still having our bullshit time, with, you know, with, with the game. We got, the lag shooting is fucking horrendous at times. And what's really pissing me off is theater mode. Theater mode is not working, guys. I'm going to play a clip for you guys here in a second and show you what really pissed me off. Because I got a nice cross-the-map tomahawk, and theater mode did not work. And I was truly pissed off because, you know, now that we have theater mode, it's not like the Wii. I can see how things happen. I want to see where this tomahawk bounced off of, how it hit. But I'm going to show it to you guys right now. And uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think it would have been pretty nasty? Tag it with weapon. He's gone. Sniper's clear. So yeah, guys, there it is. Uh, hopefully, I've matched the, the the volume time and everything up with the clip and everything like that. But you know, nothing really crazy. Just you know, I want to see how it hit. I mean, that's, that's basically what it is. I, I'm so intrigued by you know because we always dealt without having uh, theater mode, and I've hit so many cross the map tomahawks on Black Ops. I think I hit a cross the map tomahawk damn near on every map, and um, and I've always wondered how it hit, how it landed, stuff like that, guys. Uh, I don't know. Write in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. If you have different opinions or perspectives on this and you have some uh, some articles and shit like that, I would definitely love to check it out, guys. If you enjoyed this commentary, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, guys. But it's your boy, Hunt Noobs. I'm out this bitch. This is Get Back Son. Woo! Two-piece chicken nugget for the win. And my balls itch. Nice, noobs. Task accomplished. No survivors.